Greetings, and welcome back everyone to Around the Clock. First off, I have to give a huge shout out to all of my subscribers out there, as well as anyone tuning in and listening. Thank you all sincerely guys for all your support here on this channel. And with that, we're going to get right into the topic at hand. And as you all can see in the title of this video, we've got leaked DLC information for Sector and Cyrax in Mortal Kombat 11. Alright everyone, there is a recent video made by Dynasty here on YouTube where he explained that he received new information, data mine information at that, of Sector and Cyrax found in Mortal Kombat 11's files. Now, all this information included has intro dialogues, different gear, skins, movesets, and more guys. Now, this is very interesting because all these files for Sector and Cyrax are on the same data mine sheets of Shao Kahn. And we all know that Shao Kahn is the very first DLC character in Mortal Kombat 11. So with all this new information, it seems that Sector and Cyrax will be playable within Mortal Kombat 11. And if you've played the story mode in Mortal Kombat 11, you know that Sector and Cyrax play a key role within the story. They are both being controlled and manipulated by Kronika and are assisting her as a part of Kronika's army. Now, as I stated before, you do see these two characters in action and it looks like they already have full movesets when you fight against them as Sub-Zero and Scorpion during the story mode. And one thing that is interesting is that when you fight against these two characters, they do not have fatal blow attacks no matter how low you get their health down. And maybe that's something that Netherrealm Studios was waiting to bring out in a DLC pack. I'm assuming so with this data mine information. Also, you do see Sector within the story mode with this white and red armor that is given to him by Kronika. Now, this could be a skin that will be a part of the DLC pack as well. I'm assuming so. It's also good to mention that within the crypt, you run across Sector and he's tied up to this big pillar and his body is all mangled. Now, this could mean nothing because this is a robot body and you can transfer the memory from these characters onto each body. Now, one last thing that I want to get into before I end this video is that Frost, we all know if you played the Mortal Kombat story mode, is in charge of the Cyber Lin Kuei initiative. Frost herself has even been cybernetically enhanced to show her loyalty to Kronika and her views of world domination. And in Mortal Kombat 11's story, you do see other cyber ninja, and there's also a cyber Lin Kuei stage within the game. Now, there's no telling whether it be Triborg and Will Triborg just be one character and you can switch off as Sector, Cyrax, and probably even Smoke? But one thing that is interesting is that on the background of the Cyber Lin Kuei stage, you do see a cyber version of Sub-Zero. As a matter of fact, if you are defeated by Frost on this stage, she will take Sub-Zero's brain and transfer him into a cybernetic ninja, making him the cyber version of Sub-Zero. Will we see this skin in the future, or will this be a part of the Triborg character for the DLC? And could we possibly even see a cyborg version of Smoke? And to be honest, the more ninja, the better, because within Mortal Kombat 11, I don't think there's enough ninja representation. And I think it'll be real cool to see all these ninja that you see on the screen here. Scorpion, Sub-Zero, Reptile, Ermac, Rain, Smoke, and Noob Saibot all in the same game. That would be fantastic, guys. Of course, we do have to wait for the official word from NetherRealm Studios that these characters are official DLC, but it's good to speculate in the time being. The link to the Dynasty Datamine video will be left down in the description box below. Make sure you check out Dynasty's video and subscribe to his channel as well. Alright everyone, that's going to do it for this video. What are your thoughts on this leaked DLC information and these facts on Sector and Cyrax being a part of Mortal Kombat 11? Please let me know down in the comment section below, as well as if you like this video, make sure to hit that like button. If you're not already subscribed, be sure to hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell so that you don't miss out on new daily Nintendo news content here at Around the Clock. We're here, we focus on Nintendo gaming news around the clock. Catch you guys in the next one.